My name is Jolyn Fry. I am an artist and instructor that currently lives in Portland, Oregon. I use the image as a metaphor to explore my feelings through painting. My color palette and gestures are in reference to what I view, but also, more importantly, take on a feeling of their own in relation to what I'm experiencing internally. On my better days, I transcend my thoughts and just have an experience of movement in relation to my viewpoint. I return to imagery not to mimic every line and every sound, but to lay out the experience, the presence, and then later the movements of that moment. I paint to lose myself in the endless puzzles that it offers. Folds of fabric, intertwining branches, the way that light filters around leaves. Mysteries of shape and color. In pursuing them, I become more grounded, kind, and present. Hiking is similar, encouraging me to slow down and appreciate the world around me. My landscapes are painted with acrylics from photos that I've taken while hiking or walking around the Pacific Northwest. Each one is a memento evoking love and gratitude for the place, the moment, and the people with whom I shared the experience. I create acrylic still life paintings of ordinary household objects, often flower arrangements or my son's toys. It is grounding for me to paint what I see and not what I think something is or should be. I enjoy finding reflections or shadows I wouldn't have otherwise noticed and take comfort in simple reminders like that leaves always grow from stems. I am reassured each time I remember that even the most complex, difficult subjects can be tackled with the same light and dark marks as everything else. And in the midst of whirlwind days, the simple pause to notice something lovely, indeed lovely enough to paint, and the act of preserving that memory on canvas has become a hollowed practice. The Flavor of Bay the Subtlety of Dainty Bess, 1925. A cedar wax wing raid. The contrast of red and green. The gratitude of breath. Memento Mori, remember you must die. My art is in continual conversation with the paths from life to death, from seasonal flowers to chronic illness in the stories we tell along the way about ourselves and each other to make sense of our shared time and our relationships. As I have become a COVID-19 long hauler, painting has been my primary means of communication through this illness. Having my vitality suddenly altered, re-emphasized the impermanence of life and the queerness of time which simultaneously progresses fast and slow. My art has helped me tell stories and feel more connected to my chosen communities. My name is Greg Campanile. I'm an artist and musician based in Portland, Oregon. I make paintings from a desire to engage otherwise elusive parts of self and to create alternate realities. I like to explore connections between fragmented subjects by warping portraits and using intuitive colors. I love to paint with acrylics and I enjoy filling a large canvas with color and shapes that are organic and loose and fill the space upon which I am working. For now, I enjoy painting still life the most, but look forward to a time when I venture into landscape, figure drawing and painting and beyond. I make art because it is a way of losing myself in the creative process. I find great joy when I paint and find myself losing track of time, of being in flow when that thick, glorious color is slathered across my canvas. More than once I have found myself smiling as I paint something that is meaningful and beautiful to me. I think that I may have something to say through painting, but I'm not sure yet what that might be. I look forward to finding my artistic voice. My process is simple. I see something that moves me in some way that makes me want to respond to it on canvas. I think about the marks I wish to make and how I want to arrange those marks. Then the conversation begins. How I interpret what I see and what happens on my canvas. 
is the essence of the artistic process for me. I can't be the only person who believes that any bird's nest is a more impressive work of art than anything I could ever craft, and yet I keep trying. I think that is because I also believe that there is no better way for me to show my appreciation for the gift of life and time that the universe has granted me than to venture out into the breathable air and look closely. For me, creating art is a soulful, solitary journey that is immensely satisfying. Since I am new to painting, I do not yet have a well-defined voice. But this time of creative exploration has been the most personal effort I have made in a very long time that did not involve people. I love color, but that is not necessarily to suggest only bright or colorful. Experimenting with paint, trying to express myself in an abstract or rendering the drama or subtleties of something I see, that's magical to me. I am also a grateful apprentice to many talented artists, most of whom don't know me. Their work inspires me and often lends a starting point that my imagination can build upon. My life is enriched by the process of painting. I love the medium, the physicality of creating something with my hands and mind, the richness of the colors, the combination of control and improvisation. Looking closely and carefully at the world in order to create art is a meditative experience for me. Painting is a time to explore being brave and to find new ways of relating to myself. I am profoundly grateful to be able to do this work and to be part of this community. Painting is tactile, personal, intuitive, and rewarding in a way that modern life rarely is. For me, it is a discipline of perception that fosters a quiet and focused observation of my subject. A meditative ritual that grounds me in relationship to the world around me. The unscheduled time and solitude imposed by the coronavirus pandemic has allowed me to develop a regular painting practice, which has in turn sustained me through the chaos. It's no coincidence that in 2020 I felt drawn to human subjects, experimenting with the relationship of the human body to the space around it. The paintings speak to the tension between entrapment and emptiness that dominated a year of staying home. Retiring after 40 years of working with my left brain, I've moved into my right brain and discovered that it's really fun over here. My art allows me to lose control, hear my subconscious, and make beautiful, illogical connections that shock and thrill me. From that moment of abject terror when facing a blank canvas, to the deep joy when I see the wordless message my mind was trying to compose, and finally, experiencing the satisfaction and exhaustion of the completed piece, painting helps me tap into emotions that make my world richer and more worthwhile. In my childhood, I was always drawn to creating art, whether it be drawing, painting, ceramics, or stained glass. I took classes up until my minor in fine arts at Washington State University, at which point it was time to stop and get into the real world. I started building my career and in other interests, including long distance running. Two years ago, I found Radius Studios painting classes online as a way to fill time in the running off season, and it brought me back home. It's been a pleasure to continue my painting practice as a creative outlet, enabling me to pause and reflect, balancing work, life, and running that keeps me on the go. I enjoy painting my observations, particularly what I see on runs that would otherwise only last for a fleeting moment. For me, painting is a verb. It's a way to communicate the truth that we are unable to communicate in any other way. It is an acknowledgement of the creative birthright of humanity robbed of most before they reach adulthood. Art should not be reduced to a commodity whose worth is judged by experts and collected to brighten the lives of the soulless rich. It should be a means of expression open to all, regardless of sex, caste, class, or color. Painting, film, video, performance, and set and costume fabrication is my ritual engagement with the natural world. Through art making, I seek to connect, unveil, and mourn with my plant and animal allies and that which lies beyond the surface. I'm a maker, but much of my making is driven by function to solve problems or complete tasks. With painting, I can explore and experiment. The purpose of my art is the act of making it. My latest art is an exploration of shape 
color, form, and emotion. How much detail can be foregone without losing the essence of the source? The art displayed here is based on photos of my grandmother, the emotions I see in her, and the emotions I feel about her. My free-flowing, abstract style incorporates many techniques and mediums. Most of my works are layered with acrylic, tempera, pastels, ink, paper, ephemera, and found objects. As I build up the surface, I often scrape or wipe away, excavating the layers beneath and revealing a bit of my process. I experiment with surfaces, absorbency, and collage, often while the unexpected experiments with me. My lifelong love affair with color and texture compels me to explore how mediums work together, change one another, and influence each other. Sometimes the results are great, and other times not so much. I embrace all outcomes. For me, creating art is essential nourishment, and life, with all its idiosyncrasies, inspires me to create. My surroundings, dreams, words, numbers, nature, emotions, and the collective universal energy all find a place in my work. I lose myself when I paint. Occasionally I'm overwhelmed by the emotions a piece brings up. Although my paintings have no specific subject matter, I love hearing about the feelings and stories they evoke in others. My work primarily consists of paintings and prints. I work in those mediums because I love the process. I find mark making and carving to be a time when I can contemplate and let go. My work has been focused on landscapes that try to evoke a feeling of movement. Recently, I have been working on expressing more of myself through my paintings. Dorothy Bothwell has degrees in both fine art and landscape architecture. She digs deep to design and build landscapes with paint that are ethereal and have elements of her internal landscape. Dorothy is working in a painting style that draws from that internal landscape where the painting is more about mark making and following unraveling ball of yarn to see where it leads. Her paintings start in reality and transcend into an alternative world. I studied studio art at Indiana University Bloomington. My work focuses on texture, gestural lines, and fluidity. Currently, my focus is on still life portraits of fruit, where I aim to insert whimsy and a sense of playfulness in the renderings of my subjects and their surroundings. I find working with acrylic paint to serve my process really well. It allows me to get lost in a piece and better understand what I'm seeing as well as what I want to share with an audience. Painting has really provided me a mental reset, a means of self-reflection, and an accessible visual language. <laughs>